Ooh, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So to pick up where we left off, the, the garrison at Reykjavik is selling out and this is the last British territory. And I have a feeling this might be the end of them. Um, I can't remember, I think they might have one more turn left that the garrison has to uh, to survive, which is ideal because we, we want to take Quebec. Um, but I'm more than happy to just to destroy the remainders of the British army in the field. So let's destroy them. There are more troops on Reykjavik, which could march up and spoil our time here. There's another army in the port that's to the southeast, but they seem content to not really do anything. Um, if they sail somewhere awkward and land, we may have to then attack, uh, attack Reykjavik. Which isn't ideal, but we gotta do what we gotta do. We're taking back a territory we have held since the start of the game. So let's deploy my Israeli out wide, and they're gonna fill up, fill out that flank. Let's deploy these four. Actually, this it looks like it's gonna end up. Hmm. This terrain's a bit funky. Let's just deploy you guys like that. Let's put and these guys in Semini are going to push out even further wide, further wide on the flank. The Azars are going to push up on the left. We've got our melee infantry behind the line. We've got some camel mercenaries, Zemindari horsemen, and Danny horsemen to push up. Last year, Demi, Demi cannons. Well, actually, I might put them both back here, really. Because we're going to be on the offensive. All their, all their troops, reinforcements coming in right from the back. So you need to push, push on these guys, clear them out, then just, just keep pushing. Send those guys to start pushing up over there. Got a good hit on some of my Israeli, but they will. They will come to regret that decision. The garrison mortars are... They're going to be done for. My Zars don't have the range. But I am more than happy to then just push up these guys like so. To get everyone within range. So the 49th are going to be able to engage us. Before we can engage them. But they will fall before our massed volleys. Fire! Oh, the first volleys are actually after the... Uh... Where's my horseman? Run my horseman up, run my general up. Everyone else... run up to uh, the next run right the way up to oh <laughs> right you guys are then reserves get these horsemen on the march this artillery is going to be fairly useless you chase down the 49th There we go. Here comes the next. It's a line of ju it's an army of just pikemen coming in at the moment. This is what you are pinning your hopes on to save your empire. This. So I want my. This infantry plus one more. 
will probably be good enough to create an almighty line to sit here and shoot the G shoot the living crap out of pretty much anyone who comes our way. Never did push my general out to actually shoot the to attack the uh, routing art routing uh, mortars. Not that it really mattered. Push them all out. These, these Azar might be in for a bit of a tricky time. They're all still walking. And they're trying to shoot at the garrison, mortar garrison, as they fall back. Try and run in a funny direction all you like. We have plenty of reserves. Yep, they're charging. They were charging. These men are going to be the first ones to taste our volleys. Engage! Oh, they're all reloading. Unit appears made ready. Or, oh no, they weren't. They're just standing it ready. You guys reload. Yes! Well, they are getting in range, but the closer they get to us, the more deadly are our volleys. You men run away. You guys drop into square. I don't know if pikes can get into a house. So if I run you into a house, that might actually help you out. Okay, you guys mob the pikemen. Where's my melee infantry? Bashi bazooks. Cavalry's coming in. Come on, Israeli, stay in square. You guys have to get out of the way. Sending in some more pikes, eh? There we go, send the camels into the regiment of horse. Where's my horseman over here? Exploit the breakout. Exploit the breakout. You guys charging over there. Have you got some cavalry over here? They do. Bashi Bazooks, get in there. Riskers of Souls, get in there. They're sat there going, yes, we're winning slightly. Isn't that great? My Riskers of Souls think that's a pants thing to think. There we go. Now they're starting to fall. Take those colours. I want it. Yep. Pikes are falling pretty dramatically. Bring in some extra support here. The camels are going to be doing doing good against the good against the cavalry, which looks like it's now routed. Zemendo horsemen 
doing a real number on the enemy cavalry here. Okay, quick, limber up. That'll fix it. Right, so... Miss Aureli, push up. Bashi Bazooks chase down that regiment of horse. You guys get away from that square formation. Let's just get you guys here, because right there there's a bunch of pikes that are just stuck behind the wall. New men, charge! Let's line up these Israeli. Push out my riskers of souls around the flank. Put my cavalry on the other flank. Is that a pike unit that came back? It is. The Israeli are broken. The pikes over here have broken. My Azars push over and secure this high ground. Grenadiers. Actually, let's shoot the crap out of them for a bit first. Artillery that's been moving since the start of the game. It's trundling up. Those are bashy bazooks. Maybe I do push with melee on this flank. Because our souls are going to have a good time. They're counter charging me as well. Well, you're not opening fire, that's the problem. Come the Bashis. Troops recruited a long time ago in the Middle East, now fighting in uh, Iceland. And these are veterans as well. These aren't any old nonsense. If you can make the 56th Regiment route... Which I shouldn't do it anyway. Charge you guys into the 27th. You men are going to cut your way through... Actually, you're nicer. They're winning. my camels. Camels, camels, camels. Bring you guys over there. Push you guys up to fire into the flank of the 84th. Throw these guys into the fray. Cheaply because there's not a lot else for them to do. The gunners have abandoned their guns. Yeah, my cavalry's upset, but they won't be for long. Not till not when my uh, camels get over here. is upset. The Bashis. Swarm, swarm, swarm. Now one of 
of our units routed immediately. Just go straight in. Camels to run around the troops because right now we're happy to just shoot the bejesus out of them. You're going to shoot the hell out of the sixth regiment of horse. There they go. Straight on into the guns, all of you. <laughs> Kill as many as you can. There we go. The dastardly British dogs have been destroyed. That wasn't a close victory. Got a bit scrappy at the end, but only because I wanted it to. There we go. Off you chaps pop. Oh no, they're bringing up the Navy. You guys gonna go garrison Quebec? It makes sense. And I'm gonna let you do that. I'm going to let you do that as well. Although well, I, th I definitely think my the the game eh, pff, intercept them with all of my sloops. Nah. The offer. <laughs> all, right, all I've got to do is give them a bunch of tech, and they'll we will make peace. Nah. I don't think so, Buster. Buster rhymes. Mughal Empire demanding Baluchistan. Which is which one's Baluchistan? Well, they want Persia. Oh, it's Baluchistan. Oh, that's the one near the border. They offer Trinidad. 24 grand and percussion shells. No. I will not surrender my lands. If you want them, you're going to have to take them from me. It looks like you will. Well, you will attempt to, anyway. Very well, Mughal Empire. The end is in here for you. <laughs> You've got a bit further to go now, Mughal Empire, just trying to steal my technologies. Some Spanish pirates. So they blockaded my port, but that's okay because we've got all of their territory under siege. You men need to repair. Need to repair. You guys go up there to what? Scotland. Keep upgrading. You guys pick up a sloop to protect the harbour. Actually, I might dismantle that. Britain's great because you get loads of harbours, but what I think you definitely don't need is a bunch of military harbours. Fleet destroyed, fleet destroyed, port blockaded, construction. So Sardinia, got a small madrasa that's being upgraded. Start to convert the people. Craft workshop which we've done. Keep upgrading. Iran, we've got dry dock. Lots of new industrial buildings. It's a great new building here in Persia. You can get better roads, as can Spain. Yeah, let's rebuild that major fishery. Let's upgrade the port. Palatial Estate, Carpet Weaver's Cottage. You're getting better roads. Let's upgrade more industry in France. Good. We've upgraded that. Tunis. It's a workshop. All these men are on their way down towards the region. 
Okay, so we're building a, a second fleet. So let's send this guy along to start raiding the Moogle coast. Let's dismantle lots of these buildings they're building. Raiding a lot of their ports down here for free. No, wait, don't attack Mysore yet. Mysore didn't join them, so let's just sail around them. Who is in here? Damaged fleet. Okay, that's the main... That's their main fleet, so let's take... This loop down here. You guys can leave port for now. You guys get in. Let's take these men. Get them deployed down to Ceylon. Which was likely just to be a pirate haven. Yeah, it is. I mean, I'm going to auto that. Darn sure. Let's rebuild the town. Let's pick up some upgrades here. Although, actually, let's change you to a madrasa so I can start to generate some priests in this part of the world. Then let's take my sloop from here. Deploy you men. I mean, I might sell you guys here to take Narun. So if I sell you guys here to take Narun. I can do this. March up. Demand the surrender of the city because they have no forces. Take it for free. Build up. Move my spy up. Maybe even move these guys to the bridge. Narun cannot yet recruit troops worth building. You guys can go auto that fight, because it's mostly bowmen and low quality troops. And these, this army from Persia is going to go to here to help push these guys east. They need to then, as a group, push on Afghanistan. I may even take this army, rather than sending it to the south, which was my intention, sail it also to Nerun. Let's build a madrasa. So then this army can control this crossing here. So now, if they want to push, they have to cross the river to make it to us. Fleet arrives. So we have another fleet here in North America. So this navy is likely to go and take take up the pirates here in Newfoundland. Terra Nueva rebels. I mean, that's yeah, it's an auto resolve as well. Take the city. No. Build another madrasa. Good. You guys can siege Quebec. In terms of reinforcements, it is just the garrison plus these two units, which is good to know. Uh, let's take you, because you're now... Well, first of all, let's take one sloop out just to hold it. Let's take the army and embark them aboard ship. 
sail them to the Americas. Then let's take... Well, a whole bunch of things can happen now. Let's send you guys over to India. Actually, I'll send you guys over to start to knock out some of these trade theatres, because right now I've got a bunch of ports not really doing anything, although I don't have any money to take advantage of it. But one thing we can do now is attack the uh, Moroccans, because we're already at war with the Mughal Empire. Put Morocco under siege. You guys probably can't leave, but you're, even if you could, you're very depleted. So what I'd probably like to do is attack Quebec first. Capture Quebec, then take Iceland and knock Britain out. So at least whatever happens, I've got a foundation in um, North America. Because I fear the United States may be created. And if I didn't do this, I'd get catapulted out to somewhere else probably Newfoundland so let's do this now let's take Quebec then push against Iceland knock out Britain and then see what happens I think we'll probably see the United States be formed but we will naturally declare on them it might even be quite a powerful United States because they might absorb the 13 colonies as well maybe I don't know Okay, let's blow our way into this fort, because right now they do not have the strength to stop us. It's going to be a full frontal assault. There we go. You guys blow your way in. These guys quick climb everybody. Chip artillery is shooting, good. Some Northumberland fusiliers. Light foot. I mean, if I deployed over here, I could have actually chewed up some of these reinforcing armies rather than letting them get in. Which is a bit of a bummer, but not a huge deal. Smaller, lighter guns have reloaded first. How did you overshoot that? Okay, we've got some rangers back here. Let's speed up time because right now we are just knocking holes in the wall. Who you? It's the guerrilla mercenaries that are upset. Understandable. Once you've made a hole, there we go. They're going to go try and defend it. So let's try and make another hole next door. Quick climb, just keep tearing their backside out. Let's push up our front line here and let's also push up our assault troops on the right flank we've got our, our French knights in case they decide to try and do anything sneaky our artillery can just probably just just shoot at the breach. It's 
Especially as it looks like you weren't engaging there anyway. So keep lobbing shells to land right in the breach. There we go, everyone has a section of the wall to climb. The mortars are engaged. Oh, that's some great artillery shots landing in here. I have to charge my heavy cavalry in. Well, generally, charge the breach. Because it looks like we are going to need to push on every front. We're scaling all of the walls. Go get him, heavy cavalry. Let's get my howitzers to stop firing, quick climb instead, drop round shot on. Actually, quick climb the centre here. Who's that? Mercenaries, eh? Stop you guys from firing. No, you guys don't charge yet. Let the cavalry do the gutting. Quicklime's coming in, it's tearing the backside out of their troops in the centre. Those guys are actually going to run inside, which is good. The assault forces are making good progress up the walls. There we go. Rangers, Northumberland Fusiliers in Colonial Line. They can't beat our French Knights. I mean, definitely not French knights, but they definitely look like the knights from Monty Python. That's definitely John Cleese. Eh. Hey. They actually are going to try and attack my guys. Okay, let's try throw some Israeli into the mix here. Oh, that's not good. Why have you suddenly started firing? Quick climb over there. Oh, it's because the guys you were attacking are now over there. Get my cavalry out. Charge with Janissaries down the down the slope. Everyone else get off the start, getting off the walls. You men push down the. I mean, I could have tried to push my cavalry out, but let's try to get some cavalry, my infantry, to run through this gatehouse that we've secured. Eh, just run my infantry through. Also, those guys are going to be attacked by some guerrillas. Which 
just get everyone off the walls. Some of our armoured cavalry is routing. The artillery wiped them out. No. Run through the gate. It's right here. That's what it's there for. You guys hit the native musketman auxiliary. Native American mercenaries are being cut down. So you hit the native musketman auxiliary. I mean, you guys don't even have fire orders, so I don't quite know why you're getting all antsy. Take position on the on the, in the square and just gun them down. Okay, you guys actually attack them. These Israeli, don't worry. So now you guys are here. Make ready. Well. Get into position. Actually, some of you left behind. You are, right. Just charge them then. Let's get these guys on the central square. You men charge the British in the rear over here. Horse guards. Oh, can they not? No, oh, we've taken all the gates. Right, okay. Ambush, surround and ambush this. Well, not ambush. Surround and destroy this colonial line. So you hit them, you hit them. You guys aren't really needed. Who is that? Horse guards. Sneaky little beggars. Actually, resetting our resetting our square. Although we're probably going to kill this one guy. Are they all routing? Yes, they're all routing. Good stuff. So we've created our foothold in North America. Heroic victory. Darn Tootin. So, that is Quebec captured. Unsurprisingly, there is a large enemy priest presence, which we will need to deal with. What's that? Two British priests, 13 colonies priest, another 13 colonies priest, and a Catholic priest. They're already sparring over who's the most Christian. Well, that's pretty awesome. Let's go back to here. Take this force. Attack and destroy the garrison of Iceland. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for the end of Great Britain. Cheers everyone.